Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osayuwa Mesale and I am joined by my amazing co-anchors. We have Lami and Sanze in How the building. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lami, tell us what Lami happened went today. through such, dra such it's, dramatic it's, day. I think, I think it's just not easy to be in Lagos. True. Mm -hmm. So I always tell people, if I have an appointment for like, say, 6 p.m., honestly, I start getting ready at 2 p.m. Because Lagos is so unpredictable. Even at that Something. time, it's still, it's still yeah. not guaranteed. Let me let like 4 p.m. <laughs> Four wow, let me. How are you though? I hope you're better now. Not exactly, but I'm <laughs> trying. <laughs> you're trying to compose yourself. Yes, I am. You'll be. F ah, let me is humble today. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> let me that your mouth is usually very. Are you sharp. know, particular. I was going to shame Uwa today. I wanted to be on, you know, on set at six o'clock. Because oh, the yeah. last time I was late. So you see, <laughs> so when you God, all my efforts. Publicly. You see, when God oh, no. decides to fight your battles, I was not there. <laughs> oh, I fell down. <laughs> all right. Oh, let's, yeah. let, let's, um, let's hear what we found in, uh, on today, uh, as today's quote. Okay. It says, um, maybe if we underpaid politicians and overpaid teachers, there would be smarter people and less stupid laws. Oh, my God. This was, a, I don't know who, who um, this quote was um, accredited to, but I when I saw the that. quote, I say, eh? I, I weigh from who and who is more relevant in the society. I mean, you have the politicians, they're there governing and, you know, making all the laws and all. You're doing a fantastic job, yes. But who starts from the grassroots? Because that is where the character and everything is, is, is framed. So the teachers invest more. And at the end of the day, these teachers are the ones who end up being paupers. You know, like poor and just managing and just winging it through life. If I go back to Anisha, I'm sure I would still see some of my teachers there just, mm. you know, just getting along with life. Sad. I think they deserve more. Sad. Teachers deserve more. I think that quote is a bit harsh. It's harsh for you now, as a lawmaker <laughs> in the future. Future I lawmaker. I think it's a bit harsh, but it's the truth. It's the truth, right? Of course. Mm. Because we have we politicians just coming for four years maximum or eight years or whatever, mm. and they cut away so much. And these are teachers that really impact the knowledge. Yeah. Do you know what it takes to tutor a child? Each time I go to my daughter's school, I always say thank you to our teachers because they're doing an amazing job. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. And you overpay politicians that just go actually to sit down and just... Do you know the number of the retinue of aids these people have? They don't actually do the job anyway. It's sad. Mm -hmm. And you know the funny thing is that whenever I look at my children, I look mm -hmm. at these are the future. Hmm. And yeah. whoever is sitting... Because they will be in classrooms for, okay, let's say... Primary, six years. Secondary, six years. You know, tertiary, another mm. probably four years. Maybe if they decide to do math and all that. Mm. A good chunk of their life is spent in school. school. Yes. So I don't understand why a sane Government. nation would not On invest the mind, yeah. where the mind will be formed and built. shaped yes. and built. Mm -hmm. It doesn't add up. Well, <laughs> today we have a lot to discuss, especially when it comes to education, and we have amazing guests in the studio, but first we have to take what's in the news when we come back from this break. Please stay with us.